Hey, I'm Crafty Salamander and I'm the main developer of RTS Overlay. If you discover it with this video, RTS Overlay is the overlay you see on the top right part of the screen to display build orders. It is available via an exe or directly through the website rts-overlay.github.io, so no installation is required. The overlay does not interact with the game, meaning no screen analysis, no mouse or keyboard interaction. RTS Overlay already supports Age of Empires 2, Age of Empires 4, Age of Mythology and Starcraft 2. And more games might come later. To obtain build orders, you can check several build order websites which have export options specifically for RTS Overlay. Alternatively, you can design your own build orders and share them with your friends. Designing build orders for RTS Volley was, let's say, not the most user-friendly experience. But this is the past. I am pleased to show you the brand new RTS Overlay editor available on rts-overlay.github.io. I will show a simple demo for Age of Empires 2, but it also works for all the other games. So let's start by opening rts-overlay.github.io. So here we are, uh, so you can select your different build orders that you already have in your library in case you have some uh, like before. You can still get build order from an external website. So for instance, here for each of MPOs, it's builderguide.com. I can click on uh, copy to keyboard for RT, uh, RTS overlay. And then if I just paste it here, I have my build order. So this was already the case before. But now I would like to show you how you can design your own build order. So first, click on Reset Build Order, and you get this, the brand new uh, Build Order Editor. First thing, we'll add a name to our Build Order, so a simple uh, uh, bio, uh, demo, for instance, here. I will select my civilization, so I will take one of the new ones, the kittens, the author, so Crafty Salamander. The source, I don't have any source, so I can remove this information. I would like also to add a description. Uh, and for the description, so simple BO for demo, not optimal. So this is just for the demo, do not copy this build order. It's not very uh, good one. And a uh, slight note is that these two fields here, you can uh, remove them uh, with uh, these buttons here uh, because they are totally optional. In fact, they do not impact uh, the overlay, but it's just that uh, when you save the overlay, it will be saved as a JSON format. In fact, you can see here at any point uh, what is uh, this JSON format and you can find uh, still this uh, information a bit like uh, if you want a bit more metadata to be saved uh, with your build order. But now let's start to write the build order itself. First uh, thing uh, to, uh, that we will need to do when playing is to build two houses. So we'll build two. And then we would like to add uh, an image of a house and we can select different categories of images. So in, I know that the houses are in the other category, in fact, and I can just drag and drop. Then the first six, uh, first six villager will go to a ship. So for villager, I can I know that it's in, here in the resource. I can select one of the villager here, but there is a faster method. If I read the at character here, then followed by a vill or a villager, I can see all the villager icons here. I will select this one, and you can see uh, it's way faster just uh, using uh, the arrows and enter key to select the good image. Then go to ship, and you can see how fast it is uh, to add uh, the different images. With this, we'll have six villagers on foot for a total of uh, six uh, villagers in our population. That's for our first step. Now, for our second step, we, uh, we can, can click on this button to add a new step. And let's say that uh, we will lure the first boar with uh, next uh, villager. So this will add one villager on food and one villager uh, in total. We add the next step and you can see that each time you add a step, it re uh, remembers what was the age and the number of villagers per resource uh, that you had. So let's say that now that the next uh, uh, four villager uh, will uh, go to, uh, to wood and we'll also build a lumber camp. So this adds four villager here uh, for a total of 11 villager. Next instruction, next uh, villager lures the second boar. And I think it's time to uh, build a new house. 
And uh, for you to know, so here I'm adding one uh, line uh, for each node, but you can add several lines. So for instance, I can uh, say uh, start up, uh, uh, start pushing deer with uh, scout. And here you have two lines for a single node. So uh, here on the left, we can see the overlay being updated in real time, and you can see that indeed uh, we have uh, two lines. So you can add uh, as many lines as you want. You can uh, remove one. You can also remove a full step uh, if you want, or uh, for instance, or reorder the different steps as you can see. But uh, here you have the main principle. Well, one, uh, still one thing here is that you have a uh, possibility to add a timer. So for instance, let's say that uh, I need one minute and three seconds to reach uh, this timing. And you have an extra feature to use a timer uh, if all the timing features are uh, valid, which is not the case here as uh, represented by this image. So you can either put valid timing yourself here, but there is a special button for this evaluate time. And you can see that when I click on this, it will automatically evaluate uh, the different time. Timing. So this is mainly based on the number of villagers that you have here on uh, the age to reach. So let's say that if it was feudal age, you see I evaluate the time and we will we, we'll, uh, get uh, a new timing here. Uh, I, by the way, here I forgot to uh, add uh, uh, an extra villager here. So you can see it's still uh, evaluated. Also, if you uh, add stuff like research if you had the loom image, I reevaluate the timing and you can see that it changed again because uh, this uh, will also impact uh, the, uh, the timing. And basically you have here the main principle. So what I will do now is that uh, I saved a file, uh, I saved the build order in a JSON file, uh, the final one. I can just drag and drop here on the header and now I have uh, my full build order so that uh, you don't have for me to wait for me to finish the full build order uh, to see it in action. Once you, you are happy with this, you can export uh, it as a JSON file here. So basically this is uh, what I just here and you can then re-drag and drop like I just did. You can add it uh, to your library so that you can find it uh, later. So it's uh, called build order demo. In fact, now if I relaunch the overlay, so it was a build order that I made for the kit and I can sh uh, build order demo. I can click here and I have back my build order. I can uh, see it in a full page. So here is the, f uh, the full build order. So if you have a second screen, the first solution is just to put this on your second screen and look uh, at it uh, while you are uh, playing, while you are training uh, your build order. But the main interest of build order overlay is to use it as an overlay specifically for people uh, uh, playing with a single monitor. And for this, you have the display overlay button here. So uh, display overlay, we display the overlay like this. You can adapt the font size here. You can also adapt the image sizes. And you can choose to have the overlay on the left or on the right. So on my side, I prefer to have it on the right. And then I click on display overlay. And now my overlay is ready. I can click on the arrows here, or we use the arrow key from my keyboard to uh, select the different steps. But there is one thing uh, which, which is important is that if I click somewhere else, of course, this is, uh, will go uh, behind the current uh, page. And to solve this, I simply need to use an always on top application. So in this case, I just use uh, some uh, keyboard shortcuts to use uh, Microsoft Power Toys, uh, always on top application. So I would really recommend to use uh, this uh, Microsoft uh, Power Toys uh, tool uh, for this because it's free, it's developed by Microsoft and available on Microsoft Store. So uh, just two clicks uh, and basically, uh, and you have it. And now uh, we're happy and we can uh, test uh, our build order. So let's start the game. Okay, I'm inside the game. I will select a skirmish game. I already have uh, the kit selected. And in fact, it's perfect. I can launch it. You can already see the two, uh, the first instruction, build two houses and the first six villagers go to ship. So, very classical start in this case. I'm so I'm building my two houses. Okay. And then the first village, uh, six villagers will go to ship. So, uh, you can see that I need to reach 6 villagers on food and I have uh, 6 villagers at the end. 
Uh, and uh, for the, for this, once I reach 6 villager here, I know that I can click on this arrow to get uh, the next step or use the keyboard for this. But in fact, there is a second option. So here I have the timing feature, so I can click here. I have the timer here and the timer here, so I will try to use the arrow keys to kind of uh, be in sync. And then uh, pressing uh, the space key or the start button, you can see that I'm approximately in sync here. And uh, with this, I will have uh, the, uh, the instruction uh, appearing uh, at the correct timing so then lure the i see automatically that the current instruction is to lure the first boss with the next villager i can lure the first boss i still have the instruction not super bad for my build order but yeah, not a huge issue it's more <laughs> just for the demo here not really playing and then I can see, okay, next instruction will be to uh, send the next villager to woods. It's approximately here. And yeah, basically that's it. So uh, you have... Uh, uh, you, you have the basic principle of uh, the build order. Uh, I nearly lost this guy. And uh, you can continue uh, playing uh, and training uh, build order so that you reach the correct timing. One last thing. Here I just show you a demo using uh, the build order with uh, the web application RTS so for the .io. But uh, the build order we designed also perfectly works uh, with the .exe application. So uh, the .exe application you can uh, find the link uh, in the uh, description. But uh, basically here I have it, and uh, inside the application I can des design the build orders uh, uh, using this, but which is a bit more difficult to use. But here, if I just click on copy to clipboard, it will copy uh, to clipboard the build order, and I can just paste it here, then click on add build order. Build order was added here uh, in the application, we'll load it. And uh, now I can uh, check, so for the kittens, and I can find back uh, my build order uh, from uh, from before. And you can see that we have the exact same build order that we designed in, uh, from the web application, but this time inside uh, the uh, the GXA app. And uh, that concludes uh, this uh, presentation. Uh, so enjoy uh, the game and enjoy using uh, the overlay with it. Bye.